the Lake Isle of Innisfree. I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree. And a small cabin there of clay and wattles made. Nine bin rows where I have there a hive for the honey bee. And live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. Their midnights are a glimmer, a noon a purple glow, an evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always, night and day, I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. A psalm of life. Tell me not in mournful numbers. Life is but an empty dream. So the soul is dead, the slumbers, and things are not what they seem. Life is real, life is earnest, and the grave is not its goal. Dust thou art to dust returnst was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment and not sorrow is our destined end or way. But to act that each tomorrow find us further than today. Ah. Uh-huh.
but is long, and time is fleeting, and our hearts, those thousand brave, still, like muffled drums, are beating funeral marches to the grave. In the world's broad field of battle, in the bivouac of life, be not like them driven cattle, be a hero in the strife. Trust no future, however pleasant. Let the dead past bury its dead. Act, act in the living present, heart within and God overhead. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime. And departing, leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another sailing all life's solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing she'll take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate. Still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. The daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves Beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils.
stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Whose wits these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his wits fill up with the snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop. Without their farmhouse near, between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds, the sweep of easy wind, and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. When I'm dead, my dearest, when I'm dead, my dearest, sing no sad songs for me. Plant thou no roses at my head, nor shady cypress tree. Be the green grass over me, with showers and dewdrops wet. And if thou wilt remember, and if thou wilt forget, I shall not see the shadows. I shall not feel the rain. I shall not hear the nightingale sing on, as if in pain. And dreaming through the twilight that doth not rise nor set, happily I may remember, and happily may forget. To a stranger,
passing stranger, you do not know how longingly I look upon you. You must be he I was seeking, or she I was seeking. It comes to me as of a dream. I have somewhere surely lived a life of joy with you, all is recalled as we flit by each other, fluid, affectionate, chaste, matured. You grew up with me, were a boy with me, or a girl with me. I ate with you and slept with you. Your body has become not yours only, nor left my body mine only. You give me the pleasure of your eyes, face, flesh as we pass. You take of my beard, breast, hands in return. I'm not to speak to you, I'm to think of you when I sit alone or wake at night alone. I'm to wait, I do not doubt, I'm to meet you again, I'm to see to it that I do not lose you. How do I love thee? How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach. When feeling out of sight for the ends of being an ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with a passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with a breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. Good night. Good night. I know the hour is ill which severs those it should unite. Let us remain together still. Then it will be good night. How can I call the lone night good though thy sweet wishes wing its flight? Be it not said, thought, understood, then it will be good night. Two hearts which near each other move from evening close to morning light. The night is good because, my love, 
they never say good night. Fever. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by, and the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sails shaking, and a gray mist. On the sea's face, and a gray dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call, and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day, with the white clouds fly, and the flung spray and the blown spume. And the seagulls cry. I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way. On the whale's way, where the winds like a wetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover, and quiet sleep, and a sweet dream, when the long trick's over. Annabelle Lee. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived, whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. She was a child, and I was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love. I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs in heaven coveted, her and me. And this was the reason that long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud by night. Chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her highborn kinsmen came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud, chilling 
and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who are older than we, of many far wiser than we. And neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I see the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride. In her sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. My love's like a red, red rose. Oh, my love's like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love's like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. As fair art thou, my bunny lass, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, till ere the seas can dry. Till ere the seas can dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. And I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. And fare thee well, my only love, and fare thee well a while. And I will come again, my love, though it were ten thousand miles. Bright star, would I were steadfast as thou art. Bright star, would I were steadfast as thou art, not in lone splendor hung aloft the night. And watching with eternal lids apart, like nature's patient, sleepless, airy might, the moving waters, at their priest-like task of a pure pollution, round the earth's human shores, or gazing on the new soft fallen mask of snow, upon the mountains 
and the Moors. No, yet still steadfast, still unchangeable, pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast. To feel forever its soft foreign swell, awake forever in a sweet unrest. Still, still to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever, or else swoon to death. She walks in beauty. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes. Thus, mellowed to the tender light, which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, had half impaired the nameless grace. Which waves in every raven trees or softly lightens o'er her face. Where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place. And on the cheek and all the brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but terror of days in goodness spent. A mind at peace with all below, or heart whose love is innocent. In Memoriam, Arthur Hallam, Prologue. Strong Son of God, immortal love, whom we that have not seen thy face by faith on faith alone embrace, believing where we cannot prove. Thine are these orbs of light and shade, Thou madest life in man and brute, Thou madest death, and lo, Thy foot is on the skull which Thou hast made. Thou wilt not leave us in the dust, Thou madest man, he knows not why, He thinks he was not made to die, And Thou hast made him, Thou art just. Thou seemst human and divine, Thou highest, holiest manhood Thou, 
Our will is ours, we know not how. Our will is ours to make them thine. Our little systems have their day. They have their day and cease to be. They are but broken lights of thee. And thou, O Lord, art more than day. We have but faith we cannot know, for knowledge is of things we see, and yet we trust it comes from thee, a beam in darkness, let it grow. Let knowledge grow from more to more, but more of reverence in us dwell, that mind and soul, according well, may make one music as before. But faster, we are fools and slight, we mock thee when we do not fear, but help thy foolish ones to bear, help thy vain words to bear thy light. Forgive what seemed my sin in me, what seemed my worth since I began. From merit lives from man to man, and not from man, O Lord, to thee. And forgive my grief for one removed, thy creature whom I found so fair. I trust he lives in thee, and there I find him worthier to be loved. Forgive these wild and wandering cries, confusions of a wasted youth. Forgive them where they fade in truth, and in thy wisdom make me wise. Ring out wild bells to the wild sky. The flying cloud, the frosty light. The year is dying in the night. Ring out wild bells and let him die. Ring out the old, ring in the new. Ring happy bells across the snow. The year is going, let him go. Ring out the false, ring in the truth. Ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more. Ring out the feud of rich and poor. Ring in redress to all mankind. Ring out a slowing, dying cause and ancient forms of party strife. Ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, purer laws. Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes, but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Ring out all shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing lust of gold. Ring out the thousand words of old. Ring in the thousand ears of peace. Ring in the valiant and free, the larger heart, the kindlier hand. Ring out the darkness of the land. Ring in the Christ that is to be.